You talked about quarterback. What are the other posi positions of need? Yeah, offensive them? line. I think you know, obviously we graduated four really good players, and uh, so we've got to um, we've got to fill some holes on the offensive line. I think that's a priority in recruiting. Um, I think speed at receiver. I think uh, the secondary, and I think uh, edge rushers on the D line. I'm not probably telling you anything that any other college football coach in the country wouldn't tell you. I mean, it starts up front. We've got to do a nice job of developing the players that are here on, on the offensive and defensive lines, and and uh, cultivate some new talent there, and uh, play play really good in the secondary, and have the ability to expose a secondary that's not playing well. Some new territories for recruiting. So, uh, do, have you seen any? I know you can't talk about specific guys, but does the Montana State brand seem to still be out there? Places in the Northwest, places that the last staff didn't recruit as hard. Yeah, yeah. well, there's a tradition and history of recruiting right. places like the I-5 corridor, right. and so. Maybe the players are not as familiar, but um, certainly the coaches are, and that was well received uh, during the week that I spent out there. I think there's something that's really, you know, the root sports being based there in the Seattle area and the brand that they put out there. I mean, you know, if I had a bye week, I watched. I, mean, I had a vested interest because I, I, I like big sky football, and I have a lot of colleagues that have, that have coached at this level or played at this level. And so, you know, I found myself watching those games, you know. And, uh, and so the kids see that stuff and that brand's out there consistently on the I-5 corridor. Um, and so I think that's an area that we need to pay attention to. And, uh, but, but certainly, you know, I think the guys that are here have done an awesome job of kind of retaining some of the commitments that we have. And, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to work really hard to get those guys to the finish line on signing day. When you first were introduced, you said you hadn't had a chance to evaluate much personnel. Uh, have, have you yet at this point? Uh, you know, I've, I've, watched, I've watched a number of games. Um, I kind of wanted to see what the, you know, scheme-wise, what the, what the thoughts were. Um, I know... The, the position coaches have been grinding out the tape and kind of evaluating the, the specific position groups. Our evaluation, I mean, I, I, I mean this sincerely when I say this, I want, I want all these guys to have a, a clean slate. You know, whether it's a guy that's an incoming senior that, you know, has, has, has been an all-conference player, well, I want him to be pushed and stretched and grow as a player. And uh, those, you know, maybe it's a young man that is a walk-on that hasn't seen the field and uh, felt like he was disenfranchised and buried on the depth chart. Well, now he's got a, a, a new life and so, we need to let these guys go out there and, and, and evaluate them on what they do through the winter conditioning uh, opportunities that we have and, and, uh, and, and certainly spring ball. You mentioned uh, just your staff, the guys you retained from the previous staff, how much has that helped just That's in fine. this whole process? Yeah, um, you know, I, I knew Bo and, and Kane, and so I already had kind of a, a connection or a rapport with those guys, and, uh, you know, their knowledge of this place has really been helpful. Um, Bo being involved with the administrative part of the recruiting process, and Kane just his 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 history here with the, at the university, and so those guys have been really good. I think Michael Petrie has just done a tremendous job of identifying some guys for us in the short term. I mean, he's been he's been really really good. I think he's a good evaluator of talent. I think he uh, I think he's sharp. I think he connects to players, and uh, so those guys have been really valuable. The three Boise State guys you added. Uh, what what do you hope to bring from? The time you guys had at Boise. Well, team. I think there's just a lot of familiarity there. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's uh, guys that you know I coached that uh, that I've coached with now, with the exception of Matt, um, and so um, they know how to win, and they know uh, they're familiar with the, a lot of the things that we're going to do. Um, certainly, a lot of the framework that I'm going to that I'm going to rely on is, is things that we did during our time at Boise in Washington, and so um, you know what Chris. And our staffs put together, or, or I'm going to lean on that a lot. But I also have um, a lot of ideas from guys like Bob Spoo that I work with at Eastern Illinois, and guys like Will Muschamp that I work with at Florida, and Sean Coogler, who I was with for a short time. But I, I got to watch him kind of go through the first 90 days of building the program. Um, and so there's going to be a lot of familiarity with those guys being here. But it's also going to be, and I mean this sincerely, this is this isn't going to be Jeff Choate's program. I mean we're going to we're going to put the put this thing together um, as a, as a as a group. And I have, as I mentioned, I got 143 years of experience to rely on in there, and a lot of winning. And so I want to, I want to take advantage of what uh, what we brought here and utilize that talent. Have you been able to um, <coughs> evaluate film from last year, or is that something? I've watched some games. Okay. I've watched some games, and again, I, you know, really just, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of looking at the opponent more than I am us. I was just kind of sizing up the league a little bit. Um, who I feel like was, you know, really well coached and executed at a high level. Maybe a couple of players that jump out that could be some problems for us down the road. Um, you know, we'll 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 put our spin on things. And you know, I'm not I'm not I've got a lot of other things to worry about before I start worrying about you know the X's and O's. I gotta 
you know, take care of these guys here, make sure our staff's in a good, sh in a good spot, get out and do the recruiting, um, build some toughness in the program through the winter program. And so we'll, we'll get to that point. BJ and Brian, uh, two guys coming from head coaching jobs. Why did you go that route? What would you like about having two head coaches join your staff? Well, it, it probably wasn't necessarily that as much as, you know, if BJ had been an assistant at Rocky still, I probably still would have wanted him on my staff. Um, but I really did respect the job that he did at Western. I thought he did an excellent job. Um, he, he's, 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 a, he's a really creative guy. I think he kind of thinks outside the box, which I really like. I think he was able to do a lot with a little at a place like Western. I think he understands the state. He really does a good job of taking care of the coaches. Um, and it was just a guy whose name kept coming up, kept coming up, you know. And I was like, okay, this guy can really help us get some traction. And uh, Brian is a guy that, you know, I probably got to know Brian better when we worked together at Utah State. He was a graduate assistant, and I was an assistant coach there, um, even then our relationship when he was an undergrad at, at Western. And so I kind of connected that, you know, this guy's a pretty sharp guy. And then he went down to Florida and had a lot of success at Lake Gibson and, and Kathleen High School, two very competitive, good programs in the state of, in Central Florida. And we recruited a number of players from him. Uh, and I just thought this guy's a guy, you know, that when he came back to Montana, it was kind of an easy, easy deal for me because I'd known him for so long. And we'd spent a lot of time talking football. He would bring me back to a clinic in Billings about every other year, and um, we just would spend a lot of time talking about football, talking about philosophy, talking about program organization, and uh, I do think that, again, kind of getting back to what I talked about with, with BJ, that, that somebody that knows how to do a lot with a little and, you know, can maximize the talent and, uh, and the production. And uh, BJ has an interesting title, uh, mm -hmm. Director of High School Relations. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of expand on that and what will that mean? Well, I think he's going to be a, a really kind of my boots on the ground, so to speak, in Montana. I mean, I think uh, the way we're going to move forward with the recruiting part of it is Bo's going to handle a lot of the responsibilities that he's handled in the past, but I'm going to have BJ really focus on the in-state recruiting, and that means developing those relationships with the high school coaches. Um, I think he's going, to, he's going to have a significant role in camps, clinics, things of that nature that we, that we conduct either here in Bozeman or around the state. And so that's going to be a big part of his responsibility is to, is to continue to connect to, um, to the high school coaches, but really also to the alumni base around the state too. Courtney, did you have any connection to him before? I didn't, I didn't know Courtney yeah. personally. I started calling guys that I thought might have interest in the job. And as, as luck would have it, all of them had better jobs. And so they were, they were, they were in, which was awesome for them, they were in positions to take you know, FBS coordinator jobs or position coach jobs, and so, but he was, it, it was ironic because one night I called three guys, and all three of them, unprompted, mentioned his name, and, uh, and so I was like, well, you know, somebody's trying to tell me something, so I had some other, some conversations with some other people, I circled back and started kind of doing my homework and calling people that I knew that had relationships with him in the past, and, uh, and then I called him and had a long conversation with him, and then I called some other people that knew him, and we had another long conversation, and I felt like uh, there was a lot of reasons why I thought he'd be a really good fit. And he's, a, he's a very, very smart coach. He's, uh, he's operated in a number of different systems. I think he was in line with me philosophically. Um, I think he's a, you know, I don't want to say older, but a more mature coach that uh, is going to help navigate some of the some of the learning curve that some of our younger guys might have, It'd be kind of a steady hand on that side of the ball, um, and uh, I think he's he's at a place in his career where he's excited about coming to, to Montana State. What's the what's the reception been like around the state this last month since you've been hired? Well, it was kind of and kind of interesting because I, I got to you know Billings, Huntley Project, Great Falls, Helena, um, Bozeman certainly, and saw a bunch of old friends. It was kind of like. I don't know if it's good or bad. It was like you know, going to a class reunion. You know, you go in and you, you oh, yeah, I remember this. I'm like, yeah, we're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was good. You know, I saw a lot of really good old friends, guys that I went to school with at Western and played with, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and so I think it was a good reception. Um, I'm excited to get back out and and, uh, and, and get to more places. Um, but that was, I thought it was good. And then you know, we left to go back to to, to Washington and. Um, so I've been gone for a month basically since I was hired, and so that's kind of been interesting that you know there's this 
this void a little bit, but I think we stayed relevant in terms of how we went about hiring the staff and, and uh, still can have some good traction, and we're excited to get back out on the road. When did you, when did you get here officially? Like for the Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. 